hello viewers welcome to my channel so i'll be teaching you how to cut and sew this beautiful lovely blouse so welcome back so this is how the material that i'll be needing so i'll be making use of this material the need lining scissors marker staple scissors and for the upper bodies I will first of all draft on the paper so that I can see clearly. So this is the this is basic body. I think you know how to do this. So I'll start from this. So these are the measurements I need. So I'll measure out the shoulder. This is the half hole, the upper bust point, this bust point. This is under boss. So this is boss point. This is my boss point. This is under boss point. So and this is the upper boss point. This is where the hammer stop. So this is the waist length. The waist length I'm working with is 18 inches. This is 18 inches. So I added an inch allowance, half inch for up seam allowance, and the dark seam allowance, making one inch. That's 19 inches. So you measure. So for this type of boss uh, pan, so boss pan is from one nipple to another nipple. So our boss pan is nine, so it's eight inches, so plus one making nine inches. So you divide it by two, that's 4.5. You notice, so measure 4.5 on the boss points, measure 4.5 on the under bust. So, this one. so you take the ruler, you connect it. So on the under boss measure 2.5 and the waistline to measure 2.5 that you connect it. The reason why I measure 2.5 is because of our boss is 45 inches. So if our boss is 45 inches, between 42 and 45 use 2.5. So if it's 32 between 32 and 35, use 1.5. So if it's 36, and uh, between 36 and 41, use 2 inches. So you need to use appropriate inches so that it should, uh, when the person puts it on, it should be okay on the person's body. So make sure that you use appropriate inches. So if, 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 if your client boss is 32 inches, for instance, I go and use 2.5. You know the bust area will be too big for her. So and and also if your client is using 45 inches, I go and use 1.5. You know to be too small for her. So it's better you use follow this guideline I'm giving you. Use the appropriate inches so that it should be okay when your client put it on. As this, you know we measure 2.5 here, 2.5 here. You now connect. Just make a cup. Can see you make a curve and see the way I'm doing is you connect it. From the bust to under bust. Connect this from the bust point to the under bust. So make it just make it a curve like that. So it's very easy to do. So after that you connect this to the shoulder but before that you need to measure your neck part but because this is yoke so i don't need to but for instance let me let me just give you hands so that you can understand how to draft out shoulder measurement but for the blouse with yoke what i need just the two bars so i don't need this side 
so I don't need to put that on this upper part because of the style I'm working with. So let assume the net weight is a um, 3.5. This is not standard, so if you want just to be smaller than this, you can reduce this, and you want just to be wider than this. So this is not standard. So so for the neck, you can use about five inches. I'm no, I'm not going to cut this out. I'm just using this as example for you because of the style I'm working with. So this is not the neck I'm going to cut out when I'm cutting on my fabrics. So just for you to understand how to cut out shoulder pieces that. So after you measure your neck, then you measure the many on the shoulder. You know this is a shoulder measurement. So a shoulder measurement is 18 divided by 2, 9. So this is how I got this. So from the neck to where your shoulder stop, you measure the many. This is about five and a half. So half of five and a half is three, two, three quarter. So you had half inch to it for seam allowance. So from this, you are going to connect it to both points. You get it. I measure from the where did my neck stop. I measure it to where the shoulder stop. I got five and a half. So half of five and a half is three to two three quarter. So you had half inch and allowance to it. That would be you can see I just added half inch allowance to it. So you just make it slant into Point. After that, to measure half inch inside, half inch in, measure one and inch out like this. Then you connect it to both points. Can see where yeah, I just did. So this is how to make sure that's the same part. So you can decide it's optional. Some people do put half inch here. So you measure half inch inside like this. Then you connect it. I hope it's clear. Let me quickly recap. After you have grafted out your basic body, first thing you need to do, you divide your boss pan, you measure your vertical measurements, the boss pan, the boss points, under boss, your waist length. So after that, you divide your boss pan. I told you that boss pan is nipple to nipple measurement. So you divide your boss pan by, by two. Then you add half inch to it. So our boss pan is 8 inches divided by 2, that's 4 inches plus half inch. So I measure 4 and a half. I measure 4 and a half on both points and on that boss and on waist length. So after that, you make a straight ruling. You measure 2 and a half from, from this line, from where your 4 and a half inches stop. Measure 2 and a half inches on, on that boss, then on waistline then you draw a straight line then from boys point you connect it like this just make a cup you measure half inch inside then you connect it this way after that you drop out your neck after i might have dropped out your neck so the many inches that remain from the shoulder you measure it you divide it into two you have half an inch to it so uh, you draw it from the from the shoulder to both points. So you measure half inch in, then an inch out. Then you connect it to the both points. So I think we are still on track. So the next thing for us to do is to is to make, take out our measurements. Let's measure our measurements 
the bust measurement, the under bust and the waist measurement. Our bust is 45. So divided by 4. So 11 and a half. Bust is 45 divided by 4. 11 and a half plus 2 inches seam allowance. That's 13 and a half short case. So under bust, our under bust is 40 inches divided by 4. That's 10 plus 2. That's 12. Our waist measurement too is um, 41. 41 divided by 4, that's 10 one quarter. Plus um, 2, that's 12 one quarter. Twelve one quarter. So you make a straight ruling. When you are connected, it's not necessary to connect it with this. Just make a straight ruling from the bust measurement to waist measurements. So this is what we have. So because you measure how 2.5 from here, so you measure it here, then measure about 2 inches. Just because we are going to cut this out so that we have shortage in your measurements. So you have to, what to what you measure here, you measure you show, you measure it back here. So we we got half inch here, two point five. That's three inches. So we are going to measure three inches here. So this place too, half inch two. So we are going to measure three inches here. We are connect it to this side. So you measure it. We have enough. So when I'm graphing, I will add it on my fabric. Three inches. So you connect it from the bust. Connect it from the bust. So when you cut this out, it will reduce your measurement. So we are through with this part. So the next thing is for us to graph out our hand hole. So, so before we do that, because we are going to cut this out, so we need to hard it back. Because if we not hard it back, it will reduce our shoulder measurement. So we ha we chop half inch here, one inch. That's one and a half. So you chop it, just add it back one and a half. And we need half inch to sew with half inch here, half inch here for seam allowance. That's one inch and inch like that so half inch for this side another half inch for this side that make it an inch one inch so you had it back so that will be for seam allowance the first one and a half die shock half inch here and inch here that's one and a half you shock it and for seam allowance this half inch for this side and another half inch for this side making one inch there you had it this one here that we are going to so this will be our new ham hole so i'm going to make a straight line so make a straight line so this will be our new ham hole just make a straight line so we measure the mid so this nine inches so 4.5 is the mid point so from here you measure 0 0.5 in just going by 0 0.5 so you come like this if you have your hammer cup you can use it you see just come in like this and from here you come like this and see the cup so we have ammo which is of your hammer cup We have a more cup, make it of a more cup. We are a beginner, that will be better. So this is how to draft our so this is our hammer and this is how to draft out shoulder presents that. So for the for for this particular style, the one with you, so you just need to measure about seven inches from her. You can make yours to be six inches. So it depends on how low you want it. So mark out just lose that seven inches. I'm going to make a straight ruling. This out 
to make, make a straight smoothie. So this is where the yolk, this is the yolk, and this is the down part. So this will be the acara fabric, and this will be the next part. So this is the, I'll use this for the upper part, and I'm going to use this for the lower part. <coughs> so you're so I'm going to cut it up. So this is how to go about it. Just follow the ruling. That's it. And follow the what the chop. Chop for this. Finish before you cut to that. So, this is how to cut, you can see. So, sorry, I forgot to measure the shoulder slant. So, you measure your shoulder slant before you cut it. So, you can measure and niche it, okay. So from the shoulder here, you just connect it. So you measure it, you shock it before you cut it. I'm going to cut it. So you note your cross point. So you are saying it. So this is your first point. And the under boss. So, so this is how to that part shoulder presents that and say so this is the half pump so we are going to show it so I'll just place this on my fabric and cut it out so you can cut out your neck and cut it out but for this time because of the yolk I'm going to cut the 7 inches that we measure from top. I'm going to cut it out now. So that this will be for the for this and the down part, this side will be for the Ankara fabric. So for this now, so for the yolk, I'm going to measure one and a half inches. The sweet heart neck, sorry, for the sweet heart neck, I'm going to measure one and a half inches and I'll connect it to the armhole here. Yeah. So I'm going to make it. Connect it to the hammer. So after that, we are going to cut it out. Like this. 
This is for the down parts. So this is for the yoke, the upper part that we cut out. So for the yoke, so you don't need to put that. So I just did that so that you understand. So just place it on another paper and trace it out because I don't want that on the yoke. So you cut it out because I don't want to put that on the yoke part so you have to cut it out. So I cut it out so that you can understand when you want to make sure that piece is that. That's the reason why I cut it out. But now really I don't need to cut it out. So I'm just following the shape. So you take this away, you don't need this. So this is what we need. So for the yoke, you have, before you cut it out on your fabric, you want to cut it out on your fabric, you had extra three to four inches. So that it should be when you want to cut it on your fabric, add extra three to four inches to it. So I'll show you when I cut it. So this is the bag bodies. So to know what you pull, you divide your bust measurement by four. So the reason why we use bust is the biggest part of the measurement. So if we are using it, assuming that you want to cut down, so you note the if measurement and the bust measurement. So if the hip is more than the bust, use hip measurement to fold it. You know, because bust is the biggest part of my measurement, that's why I divided my bust by four. So you divide your bust by four because it's in four layers, can see? This one, two, and this one part two, it has two layers, so that's why you divided it by four. So you have to divide by four, then you had your your seam allowance to it. So just add about four inches to it. So our boss is 45, that's eleven and a half plus three inches. Three to four inches. So I'm having eleven and a half plus four inches. That's a fifteen and a half. So what I'm having here is fifteen and a half. You see it? About so you make use of the of this folding. So this is what I folded when we were doing the front part. So, so for the front part, so just divide your boss by four. They had four inches allowance, so it should be enough for the if it's padded, uh, padded bar to be enough. So and for this one too to be enough for the back, just add four inches. So four inches enough for the allowance. So I'll go out my seam allowance, one and a half. I measure one and a half inches here, and I roll it out. So this is for seam allowance. And for this one now, I'm not going to put this as that. So I'll just put this that. So to do that, just measure what's divided by. Your boss fan divided by two, that's um, a uh, uh, boss fan is eight inches divided by two, that's four inches. Add half inch allowance to it, that's four and a half. You know, we, we chop four and a half when we are doing it, when we are drafting how the front part. So just make it straight. You know. So after that, you measure. Sorry, half inch in and half inch out you know this is the waist part you know this is the waist part and for the bust point bust point is 12 inches from top so this is where i'm going to just note the point so i'm going to because it's back that so you increase it by one inch. So this is where my just lost one inch from the boss point. So this is where my that will start from. So 
population affiche on both sides. So you know from the first point I come up by one inch, then I measure half inch here, half inch out, and I connect it from the bottom, from this place to down. So you can decide to come up by two depending on what you want. So some people like to connect from to come up from point one to one to about two, but for this it will still be okay. I come up by one inch from the bottom. Our bottom point is twelve and I come up by one inch to so connect it. So you can decide to come up by two inches. So after that just from the zip the zipper allowance, this zipper allowance. So from the zipper allowance you measure your bust measurement, your brush calculation. That a bust is forty five divided by four that level <coughs> and a half plus two inches that's 13 and a half so i always have add half inch for his allowance at the bust area just half you had half inch to it so at the waist measurement and um, waist measurement is is 41 divided by four that's 10 one quarter plus two inches that's um, of 12 and one quarter so the one inch for the that you had it back to it and the one inch that you used half inch on this side half inch on this side i used to sew it you had it back that's about two inches you had it back so, so you can see the outer so you are going to connect this to this As for the hammer, you make your hammer just connect it. You don't need to come in when you are making. You can come from half for beginner to the home mistake. Just go to the center and come like this. You can make it of your ample cup you have. So this was the back arm. And don't forget your shoulders are very very important because our shoulder is not straight. I measure about one inch or one and a half inches depending on what you want. So from so you measure three inches from the zip allowance. So this is standard. From that three inches you, you cuff it, you make a slant with it to the shoulder slant. So we are doing this so that the shoulder will be slant, so our shoulder is not straight. So we are going to cut it out. So do open, cut out basic body for back. So I decided not to shock out the neck. So I will show you how to the neck that I want. And for the yoke, if you want to put yoke for the back two, you measure seven inches from half, then you would it, then you cut it out. But for this one, I'm not I don't want to put nails at the back. So I'll just leave it. I'm going to use some color fabric for the back parts. So if you, want, if you are putting just roll it, then you cut it out. Just the same thing. So for the that's decide to cut it out and you can decide to just show it when you go to sewing machine when you are saying just show it like this it will come out you know how to show that it will come out so i'm not going to cut this out the zipper part Of neck I want to make from the zipper allowance 
measure two and a half. Two and a half is okay. Two and a half by two and a half. You can make a straight line. And this is for the neck. They cough it. Not the center. They cough it. So I'm going to cut this cut. Now this the allowance. So this neck. So I will just place this on the fabric and cut out. So for the peplum, the clear parts. So the land weight is 41 inches, blouse length is 26 inches, and waist length is 18 inches. So you take away 18 from 28, now we cut the upper part, we cut 18 <coughs> inches. So for the lower part, the flare part, it, for it to know the length of the paper you cut, you minus 18 from 28 so to so have to arrive at the blouse length which is 28 inches so 28 minus 8 uh, 28 minus 18 that's 10 inches so i'm going to cut 10 inches so i'm going to add the same allowance to it 10 plus an inch is okay because i'm turning to lining so i'll finish for the journey with the pocket top part and after you should turn the line the peplum at that part so that's level inches so my peplum will be 11 inches peplum length will be 11 inches so so now the the round waist that you're going to put on me i'm going to use full flip so i'll make use of the measurement for round waist my Round waist I'm working with 41 inches. So 41 plus 2, same allowance. <coughs> so equal 43. So divided by 6.28. 43 divided by 6.28. So this gives me 6.84. You can do that on your calculator and done that already. So 6.84. So we are using formula method. So we are using lemma method. I will teach you that but I want to use formula method. So because I want to add I want to add it to the peplum. So I have to increase this so that I have um, I want the waist to be more than the actual waist measurement. So with this answer if I chop it around, it will give me actual waist measurement. But because I want to hard pleat to it, I'll just increase it. But if you want it to be full, you can first of all multiply your waist, your land waist times two. So if you want it to be full, but I don't want mine to be full. That's why I decided not to multiply it by two. I'll just add to the to the answer that I have here. So approximately, I'm having seven inches. So the answer, I'll just add two to it, seven plus two, that makes it nine. So I'm going to chalk nine rounds. So you can use my method, and you can decide to multiply it before you divide by 6.28. <coughs> to do that now. <coughs> I want to measure nine inches, man. I must be on four layer. I must fold the cloth into four layer. So what you do is to measure your measure the length you want. So know what to fold. You measure the length you want. The length of the peplum that I want to cut is yeah, eleven. So you now had nine inches. The what you calculated had to it. That's 20, it's 11 plus 9, so that you know what to fold. So, 11 plus 9 is 20 inches. 
You can see 10 plus 1, what we calculated, the length of the peplum 10 plus 1, and the sieve allowance 11. 11 plus 9 that we calculated, that's 20 inches. So we are going to fold 20 inches. And to this side too, we are going to fold 20 inches. When you get, when you fold 20 inches like this, then you now do it like this. So when you can notice, just chop where your 20 inches is and fold it. After that, you are going to measure 9 inches. One, this is how you go about it. The 9 inches, the fourth you calculate, you measure it one. So I'm using the formula method to cut out this flip. Then you connect it together. So after that, you are going to measure the length. But if we are using from a layman method, so you divide your waist. Our waist is 41 plus 2 inches. That's 43 inches. So you now divide your waist by 4, since we have 4 layers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 43 divided by 4. So for easy division, I will add one to that. That's four divided by four. That is eleven. So we have almost eleven inches. That's ten, ten three, ten three quarter for the above. So your answer, you just try to you know, shock it down when you get what you need. So you shock that in quarter. So if you want to increase it because of waste, so you uh, for because of bleeds, so you had maybe two or three inches to it so that you increase your waist circumference so just add it that's why you have more than and the quarter here can see it but as long as i use that seven inches to chop it out i will have that then the quarter you can see so that's how to go about it if you are using the mouth method the mouth method you just add your seed allowance to it then you divide it by four and locate your answer around this side but for the formula method, you do it the way I just did now. So after that, you measure your length measurements. So the length measurement is um, 20 inches. So you are going to shock it one. Shock it one. Not 11 plus 9. That gave me. That gave me 20 inches. So you shock it one. So when you measure the length, you should have your peplum length. You can see we have 11. So I follow the shopping. So cut out the fabrics. Before I cut this out. So, so I'm going to cut out, cut out the Ankara. So I'm going to phase out the waist circumference to cut it out. So after that, we are going to open one of the for zipper allowance. So after cutting it, you should have something like this. So after cutting it, you have something like this. So this is the after I've cut it on the fabric. I've cut the out the line too. You can see the line. So this is the yoke. So I'm going to sew this together. I'll show you the sewing machine. So after sewing together, we are going to place this on it. We are going to sew it.
So I told you what you want to cut the out. You can see this is the pattern that we use to cut this out. You add three to four inches to it, that is more than that. So that when you place on it, see, you see me? Okay. So and for the next, I use one by two and a half. So just two and a half by two and a half, just cut out the neck. So we cut out the neck of the back. So this is back. So I finished showing the poster and seat. So you know it's the under bus. Cut out swing it. You know it's the under bus. Cut out swing it. This is the under bus. So you watch it. Then you can iron it. Open it. Then you can iron it. After that, we are going to. I'm going to attach this to the neck. So I'm going to fold it like this. Just fold it. You can see what I'm doing. And I'll show it one. I'll follow the shape. So I'll do that now and show you. So I finished sewing the yoke with the thumb part. You can see our cup. So I want to use three minutes to make a design here so i'm going to show it on it like this round so just follow it just to beautify it so after that i will be join the shoulder so this is the outcome of the dress so i'll fix the sleeve the pet plan can see the pet plan you can see the pets so this is our the outcome and this is the back